Like these jeans I got on, she's a one-on-one. She ain't mine, is she friendly? YouTube! Ooh, boy, you would've got your shit knocked out. What's the dealio, man? Jay Amir back with another video now today. Bro, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? I'm absolutely sorry, bro. Y'all been asking for this video for a while now, you know what I'm saying? Considering the fact that I could've been made this shit. You know what I mean? Today, I'm gonna be telling you guys the best dribble moves for people over 6'5 and low ball handling. Now, they did a thing this year where it's like, you, you, you don't need a certain ball handling. You know what I'm saying? That's not enough. That's not enough no more. You gotta be a certain height too, you know what I mean, to be able to go crazy and be explosive in the park. So, I definitely bought a lot of animations. I done tried it out, you know what I'm saying? And I found the best animations that's gonna work on this game. So with that being said, bro, it's enough wasting time. Wait, one more thing before we get into it, bro. Nine Kizzy, you know what I'm saying? Nine Kizzy, you know what I mean? I appreciate the speed bumps that we hit on the way, but the big goal was 10K, you know what I'm saying? Now I ain't the big goal. But the goal, you know what I'm saying, I'll, I'll go for a milli this year, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna put it past myself, but 10K is right up next. So, understand, this content is about to start flowing. Double uploads, hit that damn sub button right now, and let's get right into the video, man. Let go. Now, going into my dribble animations, you know I am 6'1", but the goal as a 6'5", or low ball handle person, is to dribble as good as possible, you know what I'm saying? Dribble as close to a 6'1", as you can. So right now, I have all my dribble styles for my 6'1", but I will be changing, mismatching, and telling you guys which ones to put on for each person, you know what I mean? So, starting off with the dribble styles, you're gonna wanna leave that on quick, you know what I mean? If you go to the if you go to the little animation store, and you go to playmaking, and you go to dribble moves, you guys gonna see that quick, you only need a 75 speed with ball, and you gotta be under 6'10", you know what I'm saying? If you are 6'10 and over watching this video, click off. Don't know what you're doing here. Don't know what brought you here. I don't even know how this is in your recommendation, you know what I mean? Click off, bro. Don't be dribbling. Pass it to your guard, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? So, for my dribble styles, I'll put it on quick for every single person, whether you're 6'5", whether you have a, a 75 ball, a speed with ball, all of that. Just put it on quick, bro. It's the best posture. It allows you to get into your moves super duper fast, bro. You know what I mean? I used to use Kyrie Irving. If I could find a comment, I put it on screen that told me this jump really matters. And I remember putting quick on. And I was like, bro, he's the truth. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Goatman. Mr. Goatman. So I put I put the dribble styles on quick. The next one I'm going to talk about is the size up. Now, you see I bought all these, bro. I've been going through each and every one of them. Now, for my 6-1, I'm obviously rocking with Kimball Walker. But I think you got to be like an 85, 80s uh, ball handle. And that's not going to work for everybody, you know what I'm saying? So, over 6-5, you know what I'm saying? Over 6-5, 6,000 and over. I want y'all to go with LaMelo Ball. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the quickest one. You guys going to see when I go through all this. These size up is slow. Devin Booker is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's straight. But it really don't give it uh, any, what's the word, any misdirection. He really just standing in one spot, you know what I'm saying, dribbling. You don't want that, you know what I'm saying? You see, nigga, <laughs> boy, you seeing what these lockdowns looking like, you're going to get plucked like that. Don't get plucked, bro. You know what I'm saying? LaMelo Ball moving around a little bit, you know what I'm saying? He got a little bit of ha, ha, ha. You feel me? So I'm going to throw on LaMelo Ball for my signature size up. And it's been working for me in the part. It was pretty cool. Okay, so signature combo. Now, I had it on AI. I had it on AI, but I actually did already switch to Dame Lillard. Now, Dame Lillard is a good signature combo. Like, I'm going to talk more about this throughout the video. Um, there's a difference in dribble moves, you know what I'm saying? There's dribble moves for people that shoot threes, and there's dribble moves for people that's like all around shoot threes, obviously, and dunk. Like this now, goes. this is one for somebody that shoots threes, you know what I'm saying? And can dunk. I'm going to be giving you guys both because, like, I'll give you an example. I'll give you an example right now. Kawhi Leonard, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to give you guys an example right now, intermission. Kawhi Leonard, if you see this behind the back, this is somebody that shoots threes. It's very subtle. It doesn't really expose you towards the rim. Obviously, you can see it does that, but going side to side, it's not going to expose you to the rim. Now, for my moving behind the back, for somebody that rim runs, you want a Damian Lillard. You see the explosive right towards the rim. You know what I mean? If you like to dunk a lot, I will put that on. So I'm going to definitely tell you guys, you know what I'm saying, throughout the uh, video on, um, you know what I'm saying, which ones to use. Now, for the size of escape, obviously, I've been rocking with Zach Levine. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people rock with Trey Young. Zach Levine for my niggas that's under you know, 6'5 and you have the ball handling. But Paul George for my people with low ball handling and over 6'5, bro. You see the hop step. Really, what you want for this uh, size of escape is that big hop that he's doing right here. You see right there? 
that's not too good, but that one, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these can definitely work off a screen and uh, get a good enough screen, you get a big enough body, or you get somebody on a, on a nice mismatch, do a series of combos, you're gonna be able to bop them up. Bop, bop, bop. Why did I do that? I'm hideous. Now, a little teaser is that if you guys don't wanna do any of these size of escapes, there's a curry saw you can do, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I ain't gonna tell you who posted it. I ain't the fizz. You said, you know what I mean? I ain't the fizz and shit. I ain't gonna, I ain't no tell them all lyric. But it's somewhere on YouTube. If you wanna learn how to do the curry slide, bro, you know what I'm saying? If you want to learn how to do the curry slide, tap in. Any build can do it, whether you have a, a 16 all the way uh, to a 5, to a 5 2. You feel me? You can do it as long as you have an 86 ball handle. You can do it. So tap in on the size of the escape if you guys have a build that you guys want to get the curry slide on. The movement crosses I would use is Kawhi Leonard. Now I don't know why, but Kawhi Leonard has all of the like the Pro 2, like all of the, the the good animations from last year that people put on. Like the one that you want last year, Pro 2 crossover. Kawhi Leonard has, and the best part about it is that you can get this at a 75 or 70 ball handling. So, for my people over 6'10", you know what I'm saying, you can probably get this. For my people over 6'5", you can definitely get this, you know what I'm saying. So, equip this one on. I hit this early in the video, but if you guys are skipping around, I will use Kawhi Leonard or Damian Lillard. Like I said, I'm going to give you guys two. I'm going I'm to give you guys two options right here. Damian Lillard, Kyrie, uh, Kawhi Leonard, depending on the person you are, the type of uh, player you are, Kawhi Leonard is good for somebody that likes to just shoot a lot of threes, like I said. Uh, if you like to shoot a lot of threes, um, it's very subtle. Um, it's very a smooth behind the back that doesn't get stolen a lot. While as Damian Lillard is for somebody that likes to rim run, you know what I'm saying? Likes to rim run, get a lot of dunks, expose you towards the rim. I'm telling you, you're going to tee up and go crazy. So i choose that one. For the moving spin, I gave you guys two options again, bro. You know what I'm saying? J2 time. Normal. Normal has been working a lot. Um, you get that glitchy spin you just seen right there, you know what I mean? I uh, zoomed in, you know what I'm saying? Editing J, I zoomed in on it. You get that glitchy spin right there, but I, what I notice is that if you go through every single one, you see that everybody gets that glitchy spin, you know what I'm saying? Some, it might be a, like that right there. Some might be better than others, but if you don't really do that move, I would choose, uh, I would use Carl Anthony Towns for my niggas that's, um, for my niggas that have a low ball handling. I think uh, Carl Anthony Towns has the best spin. It's a little slow, bro, you know what I'm saying? But that one right there, that's quick, you know what I mean? You can get somebody in transition with that for sure. I don't do a lot of spins when it comes to, uh, you know what I'm saying, moving, you know what I'm saying, forward, but if you guys want to, if that's a part of your play style, now tapping in with the moving hesitations. I got two, you know what I'm saying? I use Luka Doncic, obviously, but for my niggas, like I said, you know what I'm saying, two time, two time, you feel me, two time. You know what I'm saying, hit that like button two times, you know what I'm saying, just to make sure that it's blue, you know what I mean? Let's get this out here. The John Wall is for people that like to drive, and then the Rajon Rondo is for the people that like to shoot threes. Now, this is for both people that's under six, I mean, over six five, and people that have low ball handling, you can equip both. Now, Rajon Rondo right here, you guys gonna see that it does the step back that you guys could do in like 2K21, you know what I'm saying? It's a 2K21 step back that everybody used. Um, everybody knows that um, you really do the 2K17 one, the Kyrie Irving that we're gonna get into soon. But if you guys wanna, you know what I'm saying, a real familiar one that's not gonna uh, do too much, just use the Rajon Rondo one, you know what I mean? I don't know a lot of people that do hesitations and uh, on the move, but it's pretty good as well. Um, but the step back right there is what you really want. And like I said, it's definitely good for somebody that uh, wants to get to the three-point line. John Wall, on the other hand, you guys can see doing a moving hesitation right there. You guys gonna see that he does a little stutter step. He can obviously blast to the rim, and his step back is a little like a little short, meaning that he can do it and go. You know, what I mean, Rajon Rondo is a little prolonged. So what that means is that he's gonna be at the three-point line a lot longer while John Wall is gonna be able to explode to the rim. Like I said, for my three-point shooters, the people that's three dominant at six five and over. I'll go Rajon Rondo, and then for my people that want to get to that rim, my boy, yeah, if you know, you know. So, with that being said, with the moving step back, I would choose Kawhi Leonard. Now, like I said, Kawhi Leonard has been blessed with all of the best dribble moves for people under a 70, you know what I'm saying, a 70 or low, you know what I mean, a 70 or under. So, I will go Kawhi Leonard on this, bro. You guys are seeing the step back right here. He does a nice little pause right like that, like I said. And it actually complements the other one, like I said, from the last one, which is John Wall. They basically look the same. So, anytime you do either one of the moves, you're going to get a similar animation, which is very consistent. So, you know what you're going to get when you do these moves. 
With that being said, bruh, this is a quick little video, bruh. I know you guys wanted it. I know you guys was asking for it. But I'm trying to get to grinding my curry slide build. Like I said, if you want to be able to curry slide, tap into that video. I ain't the fizz. I ain't going to snitch on who, who made the video. But watch that bit. You know what I mean? That being said, road to 10K. We on the way. We grinding, bruh. Ain't nobody finna stop us. I love y'all. I'm out.